this episode of Hog Squad, we head down to San Clemente Island to go fish yellowtail with squid, work those, try to find some squid beds, which we actually did not find any squid beds, but we just wanted to look around for yellowtail, see what's going on on the island. And we came across some really cool stuff, but disclaimer guys, I this would have been a longer video of the fishing portion, but uh, the third person GoPro that we had filming everything from the third person angle went directly into the ocean. So that was kind of a bummer. And uh, yeah, that kind of uh, was a bummer. So I, I kind of scrounged together many pieces of footage to show you. So mainly in this video, I'll be going over the tips and tricks to wintertime fishing, how to fish yellowtail with the squid, how to grind it out, what to look for in the wintertime. And you know, the season isn't over like everyone says it is. Once it turns to, I don't know, October, people seem to stop fishing. But I can tell you guys something, there's big yellowtail out there in the winter and there are bonita everywhere over Clemente right now and even at Catalina but there's fish around so stay tuned and I'll teach you guys what to do peace yes. I don't think they can down this cell white sea bass oh I got hit I got hit all over him. Oh, I got that. <laughs> I'm already all over I don't think ah! ah! <laughs> oh I see it right oh you smoked my swim bait that little not the right kind of foamers boys but it's a foamer Oh, I'm bit! I'm on! Ah, oh, I got him! <laughs> on the mic. Oh. Hey. Helmet, Spanito. Help me, help me, help me, help Look at this, Jerry. <laughs> I just curved. Dude, you're a helmet guy. Oh, Dude, you're man. so helmet, bro. Deep color. Yeah. It's not a bad bone. That is not a bad bone. You guys going back to you? I'm back. Try to get him out right now. I got him. Oh, he's heavier than I thought. That's a big bone. Look at that thing. Juna. That's a Juna. Look at that, guys. Freaking bonita and a half. That's a good one. Bonita bandito. Oh, that's not a Ew. How do you get it in the kill? Damn, he's messing you up. What's that? A Trinidad what? 20. I I try, I guess so. Oh. Crank down on him. Get him! Get him! What's his name? What's his name? Ah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> Little sheephead action, boys. That thing's sick. Working, working, working. You think he'll bite me? Dude, I think I drilled it. <laughs> Put it in the pit, too. Dude, I was already, I, I was like joking around, and all of a sudden I just got bent over. <laughs> God. Dude, he. Dude, something bit this guy. Look. Look at that plant. 
voracious whitefish. Oh yeah, maybe another whitefish. What's going on, buddy? Thanks, bro. <laughs> Let the man come through. Yeah, boys, right now our target was yellows or white sea bass, but Jim Jim hooked a good one, so we're all on the move right now. He saw the bow, he didn't like that. <laughs> No, I don't see him on the finder. Yeah, boys, so. Ble we bleed to be yellowtail. Oh, oh! Did I go one plant? Back there, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you scared him away. That had a deep color, you yelled. I'm sorry. Get out of here. I'm gonna switch to leadhead. That was on leadhead, huh, plant? It was on the clanker rig. The clanker! If you, sliders, switch, sliders, if you switch sliders. me over to a leadhead while I got this fish, I'll kiss you. Is that? You no, switch. I'm Why would you do that? We have lines in the water. Fish. Oh, yeah, that's a yellow tail, boys. Winter time yellowtail fishing. Oh, Same. Oh, He's coming on the right now. A little, a little deep. It's a reach. Oh, you got the line. No, I got the mouth. You got the mouth? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you got him. That's a sweet one, too. Woo <laughs> that thing's huge. Good. Good. Hell yeah, that's what we came here for. Damn, look at that butterball. Damn. Let's go! Wow. Let's get more! That's a good oh. one right there! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude! That's a bass rod! That's sick. That I, think, I, th I think that was my perfect gaff shot of the century right there. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that thing. Hell yeah, guys. That's a solid one. <laughs> Let's go! You want a photo, Joe? Yeah. Oh, dude. Look at that. Probably a sheep. Digging, digging. Sheepers. Big sheep. Nice sheep. Look at the colors Ooh. on that one. Wow. Dark, dark black and red. That's sick. Should we do the double ceviche or what? Yeah, do you mind keeping that one too? Yeah. Uh, unless you want to keep it. I'll keep it. I want to make some ceviche. Oh, come on. That's a big one. There you go, boys. We lost a GoPro. We lost some good footage, boys, but nice little sheep head to make up for it. Alright guys, so basically this is a tackle portion where I'm going to go over tackle, what to look for on the water, all of that. So I'm going to break it down for you, starting with, first of all, with the bait. When you're fishing squid, that's all I have for an example right now, but you want to use like a banana head, banana lead head. That's all I have, but all white. You use white, we use orange too, that works good. When you're fishing squid, you want to have one drop loop under the boat, and then you want to be working one on a lead head. So what you're going to do with the lead head, guys, right here is you're gonna get the squid from the back and go through the very tip, just right there, right? Just like that, go through the very tip. And you're gonna work it back through like that, 
And you can honestly get a couple works out of it, but for this purpose, I'll just do like twice through just to show you because it's just a lead head. But you'll work it through like that, but like I'll put it through three times normally. I'll go to put, put it through three times. So that way the squid looks more lifelike and he'll be sitting like like that for say on the bottom. And when he's drifting through and falling, he's gonna look like that. Tentacles will be up. And as you guys saw off Jim, got smoked by like a 32 pound yellowtail. That thing was a beast, solid, fat gut and everything. And we didn't really find any squid beds, but when you're looking for those bigger class fish, like the yellowtail and stuff, what we look for if we can't find any squid beds is warmer water spots, spots on the island with warmer water. Life is key. You can't just fish them sand flat where nothing is. So we try to find structure. And then if you find life on the structure, you're set. But if you don't find life on the structure, then you're kind of an iffy grounds. But for us, we found life on structure. So we were able to fish that pretty well. And yeah, guys, we were fishing like 90 feet of water. We found that life on like 90 feet of water, harder structure was in the area. So we were working it. We were catching a lot of white fish at first. So we're like, ah, are we in the right area? Right area? But we found life. So we we're catching white fish. And then calico started to appear in the mix. And we're like, okay, we're on something good. We're on something good. We're in structure. We found fish. And like, you know, yellowtail appears in the mix. We're getting a lot of sheephead. But, you know, those are all good wintertime fish, you know. Calicos, if you like fishing for them, I do. But I usually like fishing artificial for them. But they're all good fish. And yellowtail is like the true target. So it was really cool to be on that and work in the wintertime. It's a lot harder for the bite, guys. Like, you might just get one yellowtail. Or you might even just get one yellowtail bite and you might lose them. But you got to be willing to just grind it out, guys. It's all about the grind when fishing these yellows. And guys, as I talked about so many times before, Gold Label gives you that edge. I recommend fishing it, especially for wintertime fishing, when you need every edge you can get because the water's cold, the fish aren't gonna be like wide open by any means. So Gold Label is a key factor in fishing bait. I don't really recommend fishing in artificial, it's just a reaction bite, so I don't recommend doing that. But yeah, guys, Gold Label is key when it comes to this. I was talking about those yellowtail are big ones, so. You could get away with that 40 pound gold label and it'll look like 25, so they'll go for it. But you just gotta be ready to get everything on your advantage. You want to have the advantage on the fish, so you want that gold label. Smaller hook, but in our case, we were fishing lead heads, so we were in the clear. And next, I'll be going over wintertime setups. Some things I fought originally were wrong, I'll be honest with you guys, so I'll talk about that right now. I know you guys have heard me say, man, my other Yellowtail Tackle Tip video that. A pen 400 would not, or like a 400 size reel, probably wouldn't cut it on a home guard. But let me tell you something, they do. Jim was using his Lexa 400 and it did the job perfectly. So I take back what I said. I mean, I don't know if this could handle a 40 pound yellowtail. <sighs> probably it could, but I mean, you can fish them guys. We were doing it and you know, it was holding well. Hell is owning us a 32 pound yellowtail. I think was a fat one too. So. It held its own, guys, so that's really all that matters in the fact that this held its own. A 400 size reel against a yellowtail that big. So yeah, I recommend these if you're fishing leadhead. I will recommend it. If you're fishing sea bass, you know, this will work too, but. All right, guys, for my dropper loop setup, I like to use this a beefier rod, obviously, but for the reel, I use my Boss Fury, the 600 size, if accurate. It's a great reel. I actually got this thing serviced, and they didn't have a certain part, so accurate did a really good job, and pretty much just brand new reel, look at that place side plating but anyways besides that the accurate that I, I like is just for dropper loop because it's being heavy because on dropper loop like you never know what you can hook on this from white sea bass the yellow tail and even if you hook the dreaded black sea bass you're gonna want to get that thing up and get the hook out of it so he doesn't burn himself out die you know float up dead so I like when you use the 600 size and just put the wood to him fish gold label you can get away with heavy line too so yeah I love this reel right here and does a great job at it so I recommend this for that wintertime yellowtail fishing on the dropper loop. So yeah, guys, originally when I pulled up to the island, as you guys saw earlier in the video, we came across bonitas just foaming. So when you're fishing in the wintertime too, you want to be paying attention to your surroundings. Birds, you see them diving, that equals life, so go check it out. The bonitas are pretty far off the island, but there's, when there's bait in the area, they'll be there. And we even marked some bigger marks below the bonita that looked to be yellowtail, but they didn't want to play. And we dropped on them a little too late. So there's stuff going on outside the island. You find those bonitas, look below them, guys. It was like the bonita were on the surface, like 30 foot, and then 60 foot, there was some yellowtail down there. And that was way off the island, guys. So like, there can be some action down there, trust me. So pay attention to your surroundings. That's like number one. And like, hey, you know, 
if that's all that's going, at least you got some fish on the Bonita. They were some good sized Bonita, good class, but yeah, that was pretty sweet. All right, as you guys saw in this video, I go, I show you guys the fishing in the wintertime at Snake Island, how we got a yellowtail, some sheephead in the mix, and other stuff. Sorry about the camera, guys. You would have saw a lot more cool footage of big sheephead and more of the fight of the yellowtail, but I'm sorry. It's my bad. And yeah, if you guys have not checked out the merch yet or subscribe, it's Hogs Watch Fishing. Don't forget to the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the merch. And yeah, I'll see you guys around and I'll catch you guys on the water. Peace. You.